Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you how to make your own foam stamps uh, for using in your mixed media artworks and also on the gel plate. Uh, to start, we will need a few things. You will need some craft foam, uh, some something hard to put it on. Uh, this is just a piece of um, like a foam core board. You'll need scissors, of course. You'll need Elmer's glue. And I also like to use a little bit of masking tape and I'll show you what that's for later. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start by making a little sketch of what I would like my uh, stamp to look like. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna do make maybe just a little leaf stamp, something like this. Just keep it pretty simple. Simple and easy, especially to start. So that's my pattern. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy something like that. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna cut this out freehand because I mean it's just the leaf. They all kind of look different anyway. Um, and we'll see how it goes. It's not super complicated anyway. So uh, let's see. I'm just gonna cut off a piece. So I have a smaller piece to work with, and then cut out a leaf. So let's go like this. That's way too round on the bottom. That's okay. Oh, maybe not. I kind of like it. All right, so I think that's my basic leaf shape. Um, and I'm gonna do this really simply. I'm just gonna cut it into eight pieces and uh, we'll, we'll glue them on that way. So I'm just gonna go up like this all the way from the bottom to the top. And then I'm just gonna kind of cut them apart, making shapes with what I cut out the foam. Um, it's going to be easiest to um, kind of keep things in order so you know where to put them. Uh, on this side, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I'm going to kind of just put it back together so I can see what's going on. I don't know how this went together. <laughs> okay, you can see how... Um, you might want to make sure you keep your pieces pretty pretty straight and in order <laughs> so you don't lose them like that. Um, okay, so I have my little piece of foam core here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue those pieces to the foam core. Uh, I think I'm actually going to cut this out a little bit ahead of time. Okay, we got a little piece. And we're just going to put some glue on there. I just use my finger for everything. I'm gonna spread that glue out. All right, and then I'm just gonna arrange these pieces in a way that looks good to me. I'm gonna put a little bit of space in between, um, just because I think that adds a little extra, extra interest and extra dimension. That way you can actually see, because I've cut these pieces apart, you can see the shape of the the veining in the leaf, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. So we're just kind of putting them where they should go. So when I spread the glue out, I spread it out in a way that I knew it was going to cover everywhere it needed to go. Um, but it looks like we're a little bit shy here. So I'm just going to take a little bit, just a little bit extra glue in there. doesn't matter if you get it other places on this on the stamp because it that part will not hit the surface that you're stamping so it's not gonna not gonna make any problems or anything all right so I got it all together now I'm just gonna kind of make sure that everything's got good contact and it's pretty you know pretty solid connected and that uh, everything is where it should be. You'll see that um, like the edges here, right? I wanna make sure that the edges are lined up so it looks good. Um, Cause if you have little mistakes in there, sometimes they're character, but sometimes, you know, you don't see things till after everything's dry. So I'm gonna say that's one of the stamps I'm gonna make today. That's just a plain old little leaf. I'm gonna set that aside to dry. 
And I'm going to show you some other things that you can do with this. Um, let's cut another piece here. Another piece of foam. Another piece of foam core. Uh, this one, I'm going to make this one an, another simple design as well. Um, let's maybe just make something really simple. We're just going to make uh, something like this. And I'm going to take out sections make like a little asterisk so that's super easy we're just going to cut that out if you wanted a perfect circle you could use something to trace i don't really care though because uh, i like my artwork to be a little bit quirky so a little bit off center is totally fine okay uh this one you don't want to cut in too far because you will make it really funny looking asterisk like this one. And this one I didn't think far enough ahead. It's more like an X than an asterisk. That's okay. Let's make it anyway. Actually, let's use these and make another little design. So I'm going to put more glue down. You can also use something like double-sided tape would work. I don't find that as... Um, sturdy over time it doesn't last as well okay so we we'll put that down in the glue and i'm gonna put these guys kind of sticking out just a little bit and you know i don't even care if they're the right one for the space i think that's more interesting if they're not actually uh i'm gonna scooch that over just a little bit and this guy all right, that'll be another fun pattern. I'm going to let that one dry as well. I have this some um, like fancy um, textured foam. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like a wavy texture to it. Um, I'm going to make some shapes. Let's see what that looks like. So let's go with uh, maybe like a seaweed kind of a shape. You can always um, draw out your shapes ahead of time with like a marker or something, but I would say um, be very careful of using water soluble markers because as soon as you put it in uh, some paint or something like that, the uh, marker actually reactivates and it can um, end up on projects when you maybe don't want it to be. All right, so we're just kind of cutting a shape. Well, that's kind of a bit of a funny one, but I like it. Um, I've got little scraps, gonna get rid of those. So let's cut a little bit more foam core because that piece is not big enough. Is that big enough? It's close, I'm gonna trim the bottom. So most of these supplies are just from the dollar store. Um, they're not things that I really need a long like for a long-term thing. So usually they do their job and then, you know, you get rid of them eventually. But that lasts longer than you think. All right, putting some glue on, wiping it around. You don't need a very thick layer, just enough to stick everything to. Now I'm gonna trim this up a little bit because I think it's too long anyway. And we're gonna take that corner down a bit. And we'll just stick them down. Okay, let's do one more. Just one more really simple thing with this. Um, I'm just going to cut this like so. We're going to make like a more like a texture. Get rid of that one because the corner's not straight. I'm just gonna cut some little strips. That's probably plenty. I'll put some glue in here. Right. 
just get to make a little some textures here. Doesn't that have to be perfect? That's part of the fun of doing uh, handmade texture tools. Um, I would be very careful not to get too much of the white glue onto the surface uh, of the foam because um, it might impact your stamp. And also if there's any like little bubbles or um, inconsistencies in the foam, um, also, you know, just turn that piece over or cut around it or whatever because you don't really want that in the middle of your uh, stamp too because any, any imperfection in the surface will show up in your, um, when you use it. So I'm not being too careful about keeping things straight because I find things a lot more interesting when they're a little bit wonky. Um, it just adds a little bit more character. So I'm actually going to just kind of shove these over a little bit so they're not all perfectly lined up. Ah, oh, okay. Good. All right, I'm going to let those dry. Oops. I'm going to let those dry and um, after they're dry I'll come back and I'll show you uh, what to do with the masking tape and how to, how to finish them up. So. so you can actually do some pretty interesting things um, with this super simple technique. Um, like you can also uh, make stamps that have say text on them right uh, so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make a little easy stamp that maybe has my name on it just for something fun so if you want to um, you can use like a sharpie or something to kind of draw some things out uh, I'm gonna cut the height of my letters so they're all pretty consistent we're gonna just go like that and then this is gonna be the height of them so I'm gonna draw my name here. I'm just gonna go Jen. Oh, kinda keeping it tight there. That's okay, I will use uh, another little piece for the end. Okay, so let's keep it above that line. I'm just going to cut them out. So you can use a Sharpie or something, uh, which is totally fine, but I wouldn't use like a water soluble marker because as soon as you stamp it into something, it might, um, might bleed a little bit. Also depends what you're doing though. You know, if you're working with kids, maybe it's uh, not as critical. Let's cut that straight. And this one, let's cut that straight too. I'm gonna take this. You're having trouble cutting your letters? Um, try a, a different pair of scissors. Like these ones are pretty big. Might be easier with a smaller, smaller set. Okay, so that's kind of fun. The important thing that when you're, you should need to remember when you're doing letters and text and numbers is that if you're going to use it as stamp, it's going to be reverse when you stamp it. So I'm actually going to glue this backwards. So I'm going to glue it this way. The exception to this rule is if you're making stamps exclusively for the gel plate. Um, in that case, I would go the right way around because it actually gets flipped twice. So it kind of negates itself. Um, I can see after turning this over that this end is actually pretty thick. I think I'm going to cut that down a little bit. It's kind of dominating the, uh, the composition of the text composition. <laughs> it's too visually heavy. That's what I should say. Okay, so let's glue that down too. Now, I want to kind of line this up so it looks like it should. Mm, looking at the space between the letters. Everything is kind of in line. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. It's a handmade stamp, but you know. <laughs> do it the right the first time around so that you don't have to do it all over again if you don't want to so there's my gen stamp okay so 
These stamps uh, are going to take a little bit to dry. I'm going to let them dry. Um, I want to show you what I do with the masking tape now, though. Uh, so I'm going to use a stamp I'd made previously. Uh, first thing that I usually do is I trim up the edges pretty close to the foam. Because if you have too much extra foam core on the edges, it sometimes interferes with the impression. So I'm just getting rid of that. It doesn't have to be pretty again. Just cutting off the excess. All right, so what I do with the, the masking tape is I like to make myself a little handle. Um, so this is really, really, really simple. So you just take off a length of the tape, fold it in half, but I'm not folding the whole thing in half. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just folding like the middle part in half to make like a tab, and that'll be the part you hold on to. So then I'm just gonna stick the other two halves of that tab just right down on the back and rub it in. So the great thing about this is it's, first of all, it's super cheap. Secondly, it doesn't get in the way when you have a whole pile of them together because it just kind of lays flat and it's um, resilient enough for what you need. So you can push your stamp down and then pull it straight up using that little tab. So, yeah. So I wanted to show you a few of the other stamps that I have. Um, I've got tons of them because I like to use them on the gel plate quite a bit. So this is some, some seaweed, I've got some checkerboards, different patterns. Yeah, one like this, you can see here, this is, um, this is where I didn't trim it up and it's actually picked up a lot of the pink paint from the gel plate. So I need to trim that up. This one with X's. I've got a little flower that I've never used. And then little things like this, you know, the simplest shapes can make the funnest kind of things. This one is um, one of those textured pieces. Um, and you can see the where the black part is where the paint has been picked up. So it actually, even just that tiny little bit of relief uh, makes a big difference in the impressions that you get. So thank you for joining me. Um, I'm gonna make a little video really soon about uh, how to actually use your stamps on the gel plate. Um, and until then, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.